In this video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of gift ideas for the Star Wars fan in your life. What makes me qualified to give you this? Well, for one, I'm big nerdy. Two, I named my kid Luke Skywalker. If that doesn't make me qualified, I don't know what does. Seriously though, if you get them something off this list, you can pretty much guarantee that you're gonna be very popular with them. If you happen to be a Star Wars fan, share this video with your friends and family so they get the not so subtle hint of what you want for the holidays. Everything mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. Let's get into this. Board games make an awesome holiday gift. It's something they can use multiple times and you can even open them up and start playing on the holiday. My first recommendation is Star Wars Outer Rim, where you take on the role of a smuggler, bounty hunter, or mercenary and try to become the most infamous in the galaxy. Next up, I have Star Wars Rebellion, which is based on an old video game from the 90s. You take on the role of either the Rebels or the Empire and try to wipe the other out. Video games are always a safe way to go. I'm a big fan of the arcade one-up machines that are replica arcades from games gone by. They do have a Star Wars version. It is the Star Wars trilogy, so you get all three original movie Atari games inside this cabinet. I remember playing the original Atari games with my aunt way back in the 80s, so this is a one I would absolutely love. These things are really heavy, so if you've ever seen one in Walmart, you probably saw and figured out, oh wow, that's not gonna be fun to take home. So don't try. Order online, free shipping, link below. I don't know how long free shipping's gonna last, so make sure you get it soon. Speaking of video games, there's two Star Wars video games that came out within the last year that I recommend. First is Star Wars Squadrons, where you take on the role of a fighter pilot. This isn't a great single player game, but the online gaming is awesome. I haven't tried it too much yet. I played it at my brother's house. I haven't bought it myself yet, but I plan to eventually. It is really fun. Next up is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This is a one player game that takes place in between episode three and four, and is a story driven game that any Star Wars fan would love. If you want to give them a gift that they're going to enjoy for a while, why not go with the Lego? There are some amazing Lego sets for Star Wars. I recommend the 40th anniversary AT-AT, which is one of the most infamous Star Wars vehicles, where you go with the most infamous Star Wars vehicle, the Millennium Falcon. And if you really want to spend some money, get them the Death Star. This monster will take forever to put together and they'll think of you every time they can't figure out where a part goes. This is an action figure channel, so you had to know I was going to go with an action figure at some point. I'm a huge fan of the Star Wars Black series. These are six inch figures that are marketed more towards adults than kids and are highly detailed and highly posable. They have come out with a ton of these lately, but the thing is they're kind of hard to find online. You gotta be careful buying them on Amazon because if your Star Wars fan keeps them in the box, the packaging doesn't always come in the best condition. I've linked below to the various places that sell these where they actually arrive in good shape, but be warned if you pre-order something, the pre-order dates vary. So it might say December, but don't be shocked if that shows up in like May. So like I said, links below for this, but there's also gonna be some links for specific figures that I've seen so far this year that I specifically recommend as the best of the best. Same goes for the Vintage Collection. This is the three and three quarter inch line of Star Wars figures. These are a little bit less expensive, and what makes these great is you can do world building with them. Again below, you'll see a link to various websites I recommend buying vintage collection figures from. You'll also see a couple of vintage collection items that I highly recommend, including Slave One, which came out this past May, and the Carbon Freezing Chamber, which came out this past September. Side note, if you buy them the Carbon Freezing Chamber, buy two, because they connect together to form one playset. All right, so you wanna be the man, huh? You wanna be the coolest parent, the coolest girlfriend, the coolest boyfriend? Get him a hot toy. Hot Toys are premium action figures in the sixth scale. These things are incredible, but they're also three to $500 each. Yeah, I know that sounds insane, but they come with a million parts, accessories, different heads, different hands, incredible detail, incredible sculpt. They are the Rolls Royce of action figures. Not far behind them, possibly equal, are Sideshow Collectibles figures. The big difference here is that these are not manufactured by Hot Toys, they're manufactured by Sideshow. The great thing about these is they're a little bit cheaper and you're gonna find a much wider character selection. Sticking with premium collectibles, another great idea is to get them something they can actually display in their living room without their significant other being annoyed at how it looks. Check out the Bradford Exchange. They have two items in particular that I think will look great in any nerd's living room. First, you have a 3D Millennium Falcon. It looks like a picture, but it's not. I, it's like a ceramic. It's not huge, but it lights up and it's three dimensional and it looks incredible. There's also a Death Star Steam display that displays seven different scenes from A New Hope. Moving on to replicas, the Black Series has a bunch of lightsabers out and these are awesome. So these light up. The ones that are Elite Series have removable blades. They've released a bunch of these this year. I'm gonna link to the ones that I can find in stock currently. These are not easy to come by. If you see them, buy them, 
don't wait because they go quickly. These are great gifts. They make great displays. Similarly, the Black Series makes replica helmets. This year, the Boba Fett one came out and you really can't go wrong here. I also recommend Darth Vader, which I already have, but Boba Fett is at the top of my wish list right now. If you want to go with something wacky, get him a Darth Vader toaster. This thing makes their toast look like Lord Vader. Or get him an umbrella that looks like a lightsaber. Then they'll be both dry and nerdy. Another cool idea is to get him a Death Star waffle maker because that's no moon. It's an ego. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You could also go with socks. I know socks sound like a boring gift, but they're really not. They make these awesome character socks that I don't have any because I have a size 14 shoe and these don't come up over my heels, but they are really cool. And even though I'm almost 40 years old, I have no problem wearing these if they fit. And last but not least, I have the interactive app enabled R2D2. I have the BB-8 version of this and admittedly my son plays with it way more than I do, but it is really cool. You control an app on your phone. It's a ton of fun to play with. Again, a final reminder that all links are in the description below. Check out my other gift guides that are currently on the screen to get some other ideas for other nerds who are on your shopping list. Till next time, be cool and stay nerdy.